Wave Power Station. This is a station that transforms wave power into energy. This particular project is really unique because the station itself is located on the shore while the buoys get placed in the water. Each one of them is connected to one end of a mechanical lever that moves thanks to the wave power. This up and down movement activates a pump, which creates pressure on the fresh water stored in the tank connected to the hyperbaric chamber. The water under pressure activates a turbine, which in turn rotates a generator that produces electricity. Liebherr MK88 The self-propelled building crane MK88 was designed like this to allow only one person getting in operation position by pressing just one button. The rotating part of the MK88 has a two-section telescopic lattice boom. The four-axis chassis is equipped with a special system to regulate the maneuver of the vehicle and activate the control of the back axis and air disc brakes, which provide an optimum maneuverability. MK cranes can realize several rides a day as taxi cranes. The NASA Crawler This crawler transporter is designed to transport huge rockets, and its carrying capacity is 8,165 tons. The crawler is powered by two 2200 horsepower 16 cylinder diesel motors. Two other 2,750 horsepower engines power the electric system and the hydraulic pumps. The fuel capacity is 18,930 litres, while fuel consumption is about 4 litres per 33 feet. The transporter is about 130 feet long and can accelerate up to 2 miles per hour. SK3500D this excavator can work at a height of up to 213 feet, which is an absolute world record. This vehicle is designed to demolish skyscrapers and other tall buildings. It was built based on a crawler crane with a carrying capacity of 200 tons. The SK3500D is equipped with a 15.7 litre 315 horsepower diesel motor. The three-piece boom can hold different kinds of attachments for different kinds of actions, like cutting or drilling. On the end of the boom, there's a rear-view camera for the operator controlling the whole process from the inside of the cabin. Also, there's a fog nozzle that scatters water in order not to raise dust. Big Bud 747 This is the world's largest farming tractor. The first model of the Big Bud 747 was built in 1977 in La Havre, Montana. The current version of the tractor is equipped with a 16-cylinder diesel engine of 760 horsepower. The dimensions of the tractor are 26 feet long, 20 feet wide and 13 feet tall. The Canadian company United Tire Company made the tires for this giant, 8.2 feet in diameter. The weight of the fully loaded tractor is more than a hundred thousand pounds. XCMG Crawler Crane This crane is being produced in China and is just as good as the vehicles created by Terex and Liebherr. This crawler crane weighs 4,000 tons and was presented for the first time on November 2, 2012. It has the greatest lifting capacity in the world and was developed specially for oil companies, chemical industries, and nuclear energy companies. On top of that, the crane has three different boom modes to easily perform all kinds of work. Mamoet SPMT this modern self-propelled modular vehicle is a platform with two, four, or eight pairs of axles, eight feet wide each depending on the model. 
It has a unique control system and a power station which can be quickly dismantled if necessary. The carrying capacity of the vehicle is calculated from the maximum load on a pair of axles, 44 tons on each. So if there are four axles, the maximum load capacity is 176 tons. In the case of eight axles, twice as much, 352 tons. Drag Flow This heavy-duty submersible pump was specially designed for working with high viscosity and high solids mixtures. The pumps are used when pumping out hydraulic mixtures with a high percentage of dissolved and suspended materials, as well as solid particles up to 4.7 inches in size. The pumping process looks like this. Under the effect of the agitator, located in the suction pipe area, the solid ground particles break away from the bottom surface, form a concentrated pulp and get sucked into by a pump. Bellas 75710 This quarry dump truck weighs 810 tons and can reach speeds of up to 40 miles per hour. Four pairs of wheels drive the 4600 horsepower electric motors, which are powered by two diesel generators. The vehicle has two modes of engine operation. When the truck is fully loaded, it runs on both diesel generators, but when it's empty, the second engine is cut off to save fuel. P&H 4100 AC This excavator is one of the most famous and preferred loading machines for large-scale mining operations in the world. The working weight of the vehicle is almost 2 tons. This model is used by many global mining enterprises, as it is efficient, reliable and productive. The developing company specializes in manufacturing only the best engineering solutions. Despite the high cost of equipment, the machines produced by this company bear low operating costs. Diamant 2000 This unit outstands for its efficiency and service simplicity. You just have to throw a branch or a piece of wood in the receptacle and you'll get fine wood wool. The unique wood grinder can reach a speed of 45 miles per hour. The wood cutting mechanism has an interchangeable system of blades. And the best thing is that reprocessing wood and using secondary raw materials is good for the environment and the economy. And wood wool is used in many kinds of industries. Liebherr 934 The total weight of this excavator varies from 70,000 to 77,500 pounds depending on the kind of equipment used. The machine can work thanks to a four-cylinder engine with a working capacity of 7 litres. This engine was developed by Liebherr especially for this vehicle. The total power of the motor is 203 horsepower. The operator in the cab can work while sitting or standing and has a great field of view, thanks to the large glass cover. The cab is equipped with a regulating chair, a temperature control system and a radio set. The central panel of instruments has a steering lever to operate and move the excavator's bucket. Liebherr P995 this excavator has a pretty obvious advantage in comparison with similar vehicles. It has a huge power reserve, which can be used in several situations. This is really important when working directly with viscous and massive elements, and also to load blown-up rocks. The total capacity of the bucket is 935 cubic feet. The vehicle is 65 feet long and has a 16-cylinder engine. Guys, it's time to recharge your brain. Visit the channel Brain Time. There you'll find a lot of interesting and useful facts, lots of positive energy and tons of useful information. Subscribe right now. We promise it's going to be really exciting.